on this episode of the Jacob Beer Show, I am so happy to have on Papa Snoop. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? Pretty good. So, of course, you have a documentary coming out, The Detroit Mailman. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about right. that. Your son is Snoop Dogg, of course. You are Papa Snoop. Um, where are you coming in from today? I'm in, I'm in Mapleton, Georgia. Awesome. Georgia. It's a little bit warmer down there than, than at Purdue University. So, right, of course. <laughs> it's Georgia. <laughs> so let's get started, of course. How did the Detroit um, Mailman documentary come about? If you don't mind us. Well, my, 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 my manager, producer, slash, slash uh, uh, God child, Rob, uh, uh, he's from Detroit. I live in Detroit for 10 years, right? So I know his people, he know my people. So he came up with the concept of Detroit Mill Man and told his wife about it. And this is my management team. And, and I, I thought it was a good idea because I was a mailman in Detroit my last 10 years in the post office. I retired in Detroit. Uh, November 1995. So that's that, that how, how everything came about. Wow. And um, if you don't mind me just doing a quick follow-up question there, do you enjoy living in Georgia a lot more than Michigan now? Well, no, here's the I live in LA most of my life. I'm really from, from uh, Magnolia, Magnolia, Mississippi. Moved, moved on the West Coast when I was 16, I was 17 years old. And I got. I needed to change, man. So I moved to Detroit for ten years. I transferred from the post office in L.A., where I did fifteen years. Did my last ten in Detroit. I've supposed been, been been doing really twenty, but when my son came into the music business, he came out with Doggy Style '94 and sold a whole lot of records. He told me to pack my clothes and and, and, and retire from the post office and, and, and hook up with him, and that's what I did. For sure. Um, and then the next question I have is, um, tell audience a little bit um about the Detroit Mailman documentary premiere in Arizona um which is happening just down the road. Oh, oh the one in Arizona was fantastic. Uh the mayor was there, the postmaster was there, uh there's a couple of senators and congresswomen women was there. Uh I, I, I was a guy that had worked at, in Detroit. He's from Detroit, but he worked on eight mile living us what where I just left. Then I I've Transferred to the east side, and when he came here, I left. So that was my first time meeting him. But it, it went good. They gave me a medal of achievement, I mean, a lifetime achievement award. Gave me all kinds of all kinds of accolades and flag that they flew over the uh, the Capitol building. So it it, 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 it went uh, real well. But the one in Detroit is going to be bigger because I live there, and and I had my route for six years. So a lot of, a lot of people know me in Detroit, but Detroit is going to be a lot bigger. I, I mean, that's that's my second home, man. For sure. Um, and then kind of the third question on that is, um, when is the next two premieres going to be? There's some follow-ups to that, of course. Okay. It's good. The one, Detroit is going to be April 19th, downtown. The Just, next one is, is going to be, 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 be my son's compound in Inglewood. So once I not, once, once we, do the, uh, we do the one in Detroit, then I, I'm going to have to find out for Snoop when he want to do the one in L.A. because that's going to be the big one with all the execs from our uh, Netflix, Hulu, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm in the game, too. Matter of fact, I, I just had to, uh, just finished shooting a movie last year with Michael Jai White, yeah, tr uh, Trouble Man. You know, he played Mike Tyson. So uh, I'm an actor slash film slash music. Uh, long story short, uh, I am an all-American boy. <laughs> For sure. And if you don't mind me asking just real quick, do you have a favorite memory um, being an actor? like that that you know maybe your son kind of instilled in you a favorite memory like that well he didn't instill in me here's the deal when Sue came into the music business he, he opened up doors for me i had a choice to either live my life or hang with hang with, with him and which i did and i'm glad i did so i've been with him through his whole career right so it's people that i met through him they got me to where i am as an individual if soup does what he do i do what i do i've been in four movies rhymes and reasons uh, Make It Rain, uh, let me go back. Rhymes and Reasons 96, Make It Rain 08, All Eyes on Me, Tupac movie, 016, now is 023, Michael J. White. The uh, the, the uh, Trump, uh, movie's called Trouble Man. It'll be out in September. Wow. And that's going to be a really good one as well. Right. Um, And Detroit, you said, was um April 19th, if I'm correct on that? Yeah, April 19th, downtown. 
And that's going to be a big one, of course. Um, yeah, because that's home for me. Yeah, it's really, all, I, it's really it's really about all the male men because people don't realize that being a male man, you can't get killed. Being a male man, you in all kinds of neighborhoods. When I was in LA, I, I delivered mail in Baldwin Hills, which is rich, but there are high I worked. I started out in 1970 when I came back from Vietnam. I'm a Vietnam vet. Thank so, you for your service. Yeah, I was drafted, man. Thank you, it's all right, man. But I, I, I didn't ask for it. I was drafted like everybody else back then, 18 and a half years, right? But that being said, so I transferred to Detroit, me and two of my friends. And I, and I transferred to Detroit because I got I got off into real estate investing and everything deep in LA. So it was perfect for when I went to Detroit. I sold my, my, my real estate for a ton of money. I, when I got to Detroit, I, I bought 31 houses in Detroit in 10 years, HUD houses, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a piece. So that's why I moved to Detroit. But I like Detroit because it was more blacks. LA is more diversified. Latinos, the Asian. I mean, you know, it's a melting pot. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, moving move to Detroit, I was around Polish, Polacks, Haldians, and Arabs. Okay. So I I, I felt at home in Detroit. LA, I, I never felt home. Wow. Like, I'm just another body. You feel me? For sure. And then just one other question, if you don't mind me asking, what's been your favorite uh, most recent memory with your son? Now that you guys are both kind of in our entertainment business, with you having I know. <laughs> uh, absolutely both. Um, what is your favorite memory that you've been able to share with him on this incredible journey that you've been able to have? It's so many, man. I, I can't put I can't put my finger on. I mean, I've, I've, been, I've been with him from, from, from when he came into the game at 18 and a half years old. My really biggest memory is in when he wrote his first song for the movie soundtrack, Deep Cover. And I was living in Detroit. He called me and said, hey, Pops, I just wrote my first song for Dr. Dre, Deep Cover. It's like a no uh, He said, I wrote it in an hour and 45 minutes. So, 92, when the movie was coming out, he called me a day ahead of time. He said, hey, Pops, go to, I was East Land Mall, I eat my roll. He said, go to the movie and, and check out my soundtrack, my, my song. And uh, back then, because a lot of rappers, rappers was coming in, into the music business on soundtracks. That was big back in the day. So I saw you move and heard his, heard his, his first song, Deep Cover. I was impressed. But it's when he came out with nothing but the G thing, that that took him to where he is right now. That was a lunch pad for Def Row Rex. Wow. That's, that's my biggest memory, man. That's an incredible memory. Mm. Well, thank you so much. I'm sure you are excited to be heading to Detroit. And oh, yeah, I'm very excited, man. I, I left Detroit in 95. And when I went back to film, Man, I, I've been back to, to uh, Detroit time and time again when I was on the road with my son. I was on the road, road on, on tour with my son for a long time. So I would go back to Detroit for, you know, for, for one or two days, but I never really, really got a chance to, to hang out with my boys, right? So when, when I filmed this documentary, I, I got the last scene I shot was at my boy's house in Oak Park. So I got a chance to be with all my folks, but now they're all going to be there. White boy Rick is sponsoring, he's sponsoring my documentary, you know? And my boy Rob, my God, my, my manager, came up with White Boy Rick. I seen White Boy Rick twice before he went to prison. He was just 18 years old, but he lived, his boys lived about five blocks down from the house, the first house I bought in Detroit on the, on the east side. So it's going to be a lot of memories and, and, and put the ice on the cake. I had a friend of mine I was in Vietnam with, Ryan. He and I was wounded together in Vietnam August 28, 1968. And I haven't seen him since, since, since uh, 1969. We was 19 years old. Now I'm 74 years old. He's 74 years old. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a hell of a reunion, man. I know me and Ron, but it's been it's been our, our whole tour in Vietnam. We're gonna share some tears, man, because me and him been we've been through it, man. Wow. Well, that is that is truly incredible. And um I appreciate you coming on the show today. Is there any advice that you'd have for our listeners um who might want to pursue anything such as in the film industry, if, do you have any advice to leave with? Oh yeah, I, I have advice for him. Stay away from the music business because the music business is not what it used to be. Uh, my son got got a billion screens, but he only made forty thousand dollars. I watched this business go from when, when it was money in it back in the eighties and nineties to where people is not making their money no more, man. And you can you can he's the rec labels are not making no money, and which is thanks to Steve Jobs and Bill, you can you can do everything from home. You don't need a rec label, man. Okay. All you need is, is four or five videos, put the best five songs on there, put it on YouTube to see what happened, man. But in this game nowadays, man, guys are a lot smarter than my son. 
was back in the day. Uh, back in the day, they control you. Nowadays, these these young rappers and stuff, they control their own, own stuff because of technology, man. Wow. Well, that film is film business. Film business like this. I can deal with it all day long. I'm financially sound for the rest of my life. I'm 74 years old, going on 75, right? But I've been through it. This what happened to me didn't happen overnight because I put in work. You got to put in work. You have to take what you take what's on the plate. Okay. You got to be patient. But if you're trying to do it for a living, get you a job and do it and do do and do the music business and everything on the side until you until you blow up wow well that is crazy well yeah thank yeah, it's, 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 yeah the whole business is crazy trust me and plus the fact you can't trust nobody man that's the money start rolling that's you find out who is who wow wow well you might have to come and visit purdue university west lafayette indiana sometime you ever send me a ticket and give me a room i'm down deal <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Papa Snoop, for coming on the Jacob Beer Show. And um, I look forward to seeing the Detroit Mammon documentary in Detroit um, and maybe even Inglewood. So thank you so much. Anyway, man, I, 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 is, is, this, is this going to be on, on, on YouTube? What are we doing from now? Away? YouTube. Okay. Well, well, this is my manager here, 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 here in, uh, in Georgia. She is from Michigan. She's from Plymouth. So just stay in touch with her. Let me know when it's going to be on. I can put it on my platform. For sure. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me.